Now we are going to make the pieces draggable and also the space to be droppable. So these pieces should be draggable only once they are inside this piece container, right? They should not be draggable once they are inside this puzzle container. So we have to make the pieces draggable once they are inside this piece container. So how we can do that? When we add the pieces into the piece container, that is here, here we are actually setting the position of the pieces within the piece container development. So here what we can do is that, let me specify add class and let me specify a class name here as draggable piece, okay, draggable piece. So all these developments will be having the class name draggable piece when they are added within the piece container. Then what we need to do, we need to make this draggable piece element, that is the elements with class name draggable piece as draggable. So we need to write that code. So within this start buttons click event, what I am going to do is that let me have a function implement logic because here we are actually implementing the logic of the game right and let me write the function so let me write function implement logic and here let me access the elements having the class name draggable piece so dollar dot draggable piece to make them draggable what we need to do we just have to specify draggable because we have added jquery ui's references online now let me save this and check the output let me try to drag this now no they are not draggable because we have written it once they are inside this piece container let me click the start button oh there is an alert message here let me remove that this one let me save this and now let me click start button these pieces have moved to the piece container let me try to drag this see they are now draggable so we have made the items draggable we haven't made these pieces droppable that is why they are sitting wherever they can because whenever I release the mouse they are being placed at that position. Next what we need to do, we need to make these pieces that is these 16 developments droppables, right? So how we can do that? When we make the empty pieces that is here along with the piece class name, let me have another class name as droppable space or droppable piece whatever it is. I am specifying it as droppable space. And here, let me make it as a droppable element. Dollar dot droppable space dot droppable. Now, we have made these 16 pieces droppables, right? Next, what we need to do, we should accept these pieces into this. And before that, we need to make some checks. First of all, if one piece is present in this space, then another piece should not be able to drop into the same space. Like that we need to make some checks. For that we are going to make use of some of the methods and options provided by jQuery UI. If you remember we have some options and methods for each interaction and we can make use of that to implement the logic. So first what I am going to do is that I am going to use the drop method to check some conditions so we need to put them in curly braces and let me specify drop and it is a function and for that we can pass event and ui and within this what we can do we can get the draggable element which is being dropped in this space using ui dot draggable so where draggable element or draggable okay draggable element itself equals ui dot draggable and we can get where it is being dropped on using dollar this then for this element that is for this development 
we can have a class name like piece present because we are actually adding an element there so we can add a class named piece present for this element and for this element we can specify dropped piece okay so what i am going to do is that for drop down that is for that particular element i am going to add the class name piece present because already a piece is added to that so later we can make a check if there is a piece already then we cannot drop another piece there itself hope you understand what i am trying to do it is simple actually that is suppose one piece is added here then we should not be add again another piece here itself right so if we are not writing anything if we are just making these pieces draggable and these spaces droppable we can actually put many pieces into one space that should not be possible right so what i am doing is that once a piece is dropped we are adding a class name piece present to that particular space or development and for the dropped element that is which is dragged and dropped for this element or for this development we are going to add a separate class name so for the dropped space we are specifying piece present and for the draggable element for this we need to specify dollar because for this it is already having dollar here we need to specify dollar draggable element and for that let me add a separate class name let it be say dropped piece because this piece is already dropped and for this we actually have to set the position that is if you try to drag this piece now it is not getting positioned at the correct space right so for that we can add css dot css and within this i can specify top to be 0 comma left to be 0 and also position to be relative so that the piece being dropped will be spaced correctly so position relative and after this we need to append this one that is the currently dragged element to the dropped on space that is the space to which the element is being dropped down hope you understand what we are trying to do here that is when we are dropping the draggable element to a droppable space what we are doing for the drop event we are getting the draggable element that is being dropped and then we are getting the space to which this element is being dropped and then what we are doing once the element is spaced for that particular space we are adding a class named piece present because thereafter if there is already a piece then we should not be able to place another piece in the same space then for the draggable element we are adding the class name dropped piece because this piece should not be dropped again right then we are setting the top and left to be zero and position to be relative so that it will be positioned correctly in the provided space not like this and then we are appending it to the drop down element now let me save this and check the output let me click the start button let me try to drop this here see 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 now we are able to place the pieces correctly in the provided space it is because of that this css section we have specified top and left to be zero and position to be relative 